Hello again, my beautiful peeps. Last time as me and Abigail were literally sh** on whatever the constant had to offer, I surely missed a few good for nothing things that had in no sense related to our survival and made it even more irrelevant when I thought about it. Most weird of all how am I thinking of these things? If you think about it, thinking about thinking is the hardest part of thinking and like an acid trip without the acid which is basically what this new stuff is. A stuff of nightmare even Charlie wasn't expecting and something that would give the boring, po po gibberish Shakespeare more meaning than this wonky pile of drama. Here's a short video of all your dress up kinks while questioning your own dignity as it morally confuses your sanity to the brink of sanity. Presenting you the stage where you perform as if you're on RuPaul's drag show just to display to your stick figure of an audience of how much of an embarrassment are you. Yes, stick figure of an audience called as Manny Quinn since drawing an actual crowd was a failure of a job for you and no one really cares for this except those DST investigators out there going for crumbs for any lore related content which is as rare as a bloody eclipse. Here you can see me create moaning noises and waving my hands like a crackhead. As if this is demonstration of safety procedures done by flight attendants except it's for needy disabled people since it looks more like a sign language to me. Exciting, as if hounds weren't a dick already, now we got flower hounds to aggravate your anxiety. That's probably fair knowing after that boring, meaningless and crappy performance you'd be ripped apart by hounds. I mean I sure ripped my ear off listening to that horrendous performance or whatever that was. But at least there is comfort knowing they drop stuff that late game has no meaning to it at all so again pointless. Apologies for those who got jump scared by this creepy Annabelle looking doll. But this I present to you the first dress up costume, as I gyrate my body and looking like an attention seeking twat. Two birds in masks take pity on me and join in this drama while I struggled to hold my body still as I did some weird body movements one of them I think was supposed to be yawning. Apparently whatever I could infer from this play was we supposed to be grateful of being stuck in this constant and live with it till our bodies turned into fossils and stop crying about it. The play talks about things one can do and explore as if we didn't do that already but just for the sake of listening to this which I did. Since, I have no idea who the doll refers to let's just move on as losing brain cells on wondering about is not worth it and really don't have time for it. I believe this next play is regarding Maxwell the idiot who's the sole cause of this misery and being all posh on your arse till you see his true form. Thank god his act isn't that long as it should be so that we could get this over with and giving him our time and patience is like trading your soul to a devil. Heck no bye bye. Our next guest of honor, as far as I'm right about this is that kinky dark nightmare sister, Winona. She the mechanic laborer or should I say character that makes farming easier with her catapults. The only useful character who fixes things and doesn't whine most of her time and has a duct tape to do all sorts of unseen things unimaginable but yeah that's that. The next act is with the queen's costume which for some apparent reason has no interaction at all. Probably because of that ancient, rotting and over-the-top rouge that makes you look like the clown in the movie it. Well on to the next one. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. I don't know what happened for a second but I feel we've run out of ideas for this purpose. In place things happen in front of you but in actual size, unlike television but that would make it realistic form of entertainment, but they're nothing like that at all since people shout no matter what you're feeling but looking at this you rather feel dead inside. This act brings forth one of your night terror clowns, I feel I jinxed it when I mentioned the clown from the movie it before as you can clearly see this side kick of his while trying your best to unsee it. Sorry for this but too late I suppose. At this point I have no idea what I'm looking at since I've completely lost the whole plot. 
Except it's a tree costume. I'm assuming there are further interactions amongst the costumes but going through that excruciating bland pain among all these diabolical shows was enough for me I suppose, before my head hurts but remember more is to come.